Hey you guys, Link the Hero of Time 550, and so today I'd like to show you guys how you all can basically mod any Nintendo Switch game using Layered FS. So to do this, it's actually really simple, so this is going to be a relatively short tutorial. Um, so basically, um, first you're obviously going to need a mod. I'll leave a link to this site called Game Banana in the description. They're usually a pretty good place for mods. I got this one for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Um, and so yeah, basically, first off, you just want to have a mod that you're at wanting to add. Then download the link in the description, um, which is a folder I set up for layered FS modding. Now this folder is just for the payload Integra RCM Smash. If you're into Switch modding, you should know what that is. And then inside the SD files, just drag that over to your SD card and hit replace. And then that has everything that you need in it. And so now basically go into the Atmosphere folder and then Titles. And then now go to the other link in the description. This basically gives you the title ID of pretty much every single Switch game. Um, now as you can see, I got Mario Kart 8 Deluxe here, obviously. Um, so for the title ID, you just want to copy that over and make a new folder here with that same title ID. So once you have that, you want to go inside of it and then make another new folder called ROMFS, all lowercase, no spaces. And then inside of that folder basically is where you put your mod. Now of course each game has a different file structure, so make sure you're paying attention to that to make sure that your mod works. But for me, it's already pretty much pre-made, so I'll also leave a link in the description to the mod that I'm using in this video. Um, it's another one at Game Banana, so... Anyways, that's all you have to do on your SD card, so now go put that in your Switch, and then launch your Switch into RCM mode, and use the payload that I included. Okay guys, so now on your Switch, what you want to do is go to the very first option at the top that says Launch Firmware, press the power button on that, and then press the power button three times to get down to the last option in this menu that says Layered FS, and hit the power button on that, and then, basically, now, this is booting us into a sort of custom firmware that allows us to um, basically load up our mods. So, as I said, my mod is for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, so I'm going to boot into that. Now, I'd highly, highly recommend against playing any of these mods online. Um, even if they're just small mods, still, if Nintendo catches you, then you might be in a lot of trouble, you know, depending on what your mod is that you're even using, but either way, though. So, I'm going to just go into single player here, go into versus races, and I'm going to just pick my standard bike that I use, keep everything the same. Now, for this mod pack, it just changes a bunch of the skyboxes, so it's nothing huge, but it is still pretty cool, honestly. Um, but yeah, we'll know if this worked if it's all day pretty much for uh, Mario Kart Stadium. I'm pretty sure it was all day. And there it is, so. Yeah, as you can see, it basically, the lighting is a little messed up. It's really bright in that one spot, but other than that, it seems that our mod has worked. So yeah, guys, hopefully this video was helpful to you. So I wanted to give a quick shout out to Waxy in the comments section of my last video. Um, they suggested that I make this tutorial, so yeah, um, if this helped you, then definitely go check out Waxy's channel um, for giving me the idea, basically, so yeah, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.